That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> That's me. Brian Dundee? Yep. Really? Yeah. Really? Why do you keep saying really? When talking about innovative marketing campaigns, Tourism Australia wouldn't be an industry that comes to mind regarding its creative advertising campaigns. 2018 saw this change, as to attract higher amounts of revenue by increasing the numbers of Australian holidaymakers, Tourism Australia utilised not just an extremely innovative marketing campaign, but also an extremely funny one, something previously unseen in the Australian tourism industry. The marketing highlight analysed in this presentation is Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign. For this marketing highlight to present why the Dundee campaign is so innovative, it is essential for the viewer to understand what innovation is. Solomon et al. 2014 explain innovation as any product or service that customers consider new and or different from pre-existing products or services. Innovative marketing can be seen as marketing that goes above and beyond in regard to creating value and satisfaction for consumers that exceeds the value provided by competitors. This advertising campaign is innovative as it begins by creating false hype for a Crocodile Dundee sequel, developing excitement in audiences, only to reveal that the trailer is an advertisement outlining reasons to visit Australia, albeit in an extremely comedic manner. Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign began in January 2018 under the disguise of a reboot for the globally recognised Crocodile Dundee franchise. Multiple short teaser trailers were released throughout the month of January, portraying known comedic actor Danny McBride as the son of Crocodile Dundee undertaking a trip home in order to save Australia, with his sidekick being none other than Australian actor Chris Hemsworth. On Super Bowl day, the full-length trailer was aired, which revealed at the halfway point that the trailer was rather an advertisement for Tourism Australia. This advertising campaign is unique and innovative when compared to other countries' tourism industries, as no other country has faked the sequel of a globally recognised movie franchise to generate hype and interest, only to have the first trailer reveal halfway through that it is an advertisement for Tourism Australia. To recap, Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign is an extremely innovative and new marketing highlight as it was the first tourism advertisement to utilise the disguise of a Hollywood film reboot in order to display its message. Further explanation as to why this advertising campaign is such a marketing highlight can be seen through the marketing concepts of differentiation, branding, target market and segmentation. Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign utilises the marketing concept of differentiation to stand out from its competitors as well as its own previous advertising campaigns. Differentiation is explained by Armstrong et al. 2018 as a marketing strategy that companies utilise in order to distinguish themselves from competitors by creating superior value for customers. Tourism Australia very effectively differentiated itself from other countries' tourism industries by implementing an advertising campaign previously unseen in the tourism industry. Tourism Australia capitulated on the current Hollywood trend of rebooting film series from the 80s and 90s by creating a series of fake trailers that teased the release and follow-up to the Crocodile Dundee series, as the eponymous character is a globally recognised Australian icon. Not only did this campaign differentiate Australia from other tourism industries around the world by displaying its unique sense of humour and ability to innovate, it also displayed its willingness to distance itself and differentiate itself from its past campaigns. According to TheConversation.com 2018, previous campaigns by Tourism Australia focused on attempting to deviate from the stereotypical Australian image of beaches and sunshine but instead this confused viewers with an image that appeared abstract to them. By bringing back and embracing the classic Australian stereotype, Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign reinvigorated the Australian brand that tourists associate with Australia, leading into the next aspect of why the campaign is such a marketing highlight, its creation of a brand in the form of a nation. According to Solomon et al. 2014, a brand is any form of name, element or symbol that resonates with a customer and sets the entity apart from competition. 
this instance, the entity trying to set itself apart from competition is Australia as a nation and tourist destination. Tourism Australia very effectively utilises an age-old, globally recognised brand in the form of Crocodile Dundee in order to rekindle the stereotype that is associated with Australia to positive effect. Previously, Tourism Australia attempted to distance itself from the stereotype created by Dundee and its depiction of Australia, with the Conversation 2018 indicating that campaigns such as 2004's See Australia in a Different Light tried to distance the classic Australian brand from that of beautiful beaches and sunshine. However, this disassociation from the classic Australian image had a negative effect on the tourism industry as it presented potential tourists with an abstract and unfamiliar image. It can then be seen that 2018's Dundee campaign was an extremely fresh, innovative and effective reinstitution of the classic Australian brand. This is evident in its use of Australian icon Dundee's son, played by Danny McBride, who is dressed in crocodile leathers with hat and corks. He travels alongside Chris Hemsworth Wally Jr., who is dressed in his khakis, has exceptionally tan skin, and is heavily Australian accented. These characteristics alone help to reinvigorate audiences with fresh ideals as to what they consider the typical and classic Australian is. Tourism Australia further reinstates the classic Australian brand by describing its beautiful beaches while also providing development for the brand via associating Australia with amazing wines and world-class restaurants. This appeals to the appetite as well as the audience's sense of adventure. This development of the Australian brand was cultivated to hit a very specific target market through multiple market segmentations, another aspect of the campaign's innovative nature. Armstrong et al. 2018 describes market segmentation as the division of larger markets into smaller, more easily managed segments that are effectively matched with the products and services unique to the needs of consumers. Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign was designed from the ground up to be aired at the Super Bowl with a very specific target audience in mind. Solomon et al. 2014 explains that a target audience is the who the organisation or advertisement is trying to reach with its marketing campaign. Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign aimed to capitulate on the success of Crocodile Dundee in the United States in order to up Australian tourism numbers. To do this, Tourism Australia utilised America's most viewed television event, the Super Bowl, the largest national football game of the year. According to Tourism Australia's website, the Super Bowl was viewed by a television audience of over 100 million Americans geographically segmenting an entire country by utilising television as an effective delivery medium for the campaign. Demographic segments of all ages were hit, as the Super Bowl is quite often a family event, so individuals of all ages view the Dundee advertisement. The demographic hit by the campaign was described by Tourism Australia's website as the next generation of tourists, as the advertisement would not just hit those with fond memories of the original Dundee, but also aim to create fond new ones in younger generations. The use of the Super Bowl as a platform for delivery of the Dundee campaign was an extremely effective and innovative idea by Tourism Australia, as the advertisements usually displayed are big brands such as Coke, Pepsi and blockbuster film trailers. This displays the scope and size of competition that Tourism Australia went up against using a platform as large as the Super Bowl for a delivery method. Yet, Tourism Australia succeeded in its mission to reach the largest national segment possible, with over double the views of competing company advertisements. Ad News 2018 reported that by the morning after its release, the Dundee Super Bowl ad had reached over 413 million people on social media, with 80% of those viewers being American. As the campaign was aimed specifically at inspiring potential American tourists, the platform of the Super Bowl provided extremely effective market segmentation as its target audience of American tourists was definitely reached. This use of market segmentation and appealing to a target audience is another instance of Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign displaying understanding and utilisation of market knowledge in order to maximise innovation and effectiveness. To recap, Tourism Australia's Dundee campaign was new and innovative as it utilised the disguise of a rebooted movie series in order to reinvigorate the classic Australian brand of beautiful beaches and interesting wildlife, while also further developing the Australian brand to now include delicious wines and fine dining experiences.
Using the guise of a movie reboot differentiates the Dundee campaign from all other tourism industry campaigns, as no previous advertising campaign by a tourism industry has used a similar idea or format. Finally, the Dundee campaign effectively reached market segments on national levels by identifying the attendant target audience and utilised the Super Bowl as an extremely effective delivery medium for the campaign, reaching a national audience of over 100 million television viewers and 412 million views on social media platforms by the following morning. The one question left by its analysis of the Dundee campaign that this presentation is unable to answer is... When does the actual film release, as the trailer certainly excited the author. Thank you for watching.